I was in here yesterday for a few hours and I went through all the hives I was really worried about swarming and I didn't see any signs of swarming. I saw a couple swarm cups here and there, but there was no, no swarm cells. There was nothing that looked, you know, imminent, like it was going to be a swarm. And then I was on my way up here today to kind of finish up the rest of the hives and this happened. like somebody in here swarmed this morning and they went over to the apple trees. What I've noticed happens with a swarm is they'll swarm out of the box and then go to sort of a staging area. They'll kind of find a place nearby and gather, you know, and then they're sending out their scouts until they find a suitable final location and then they all take off and, and take off. I think I caught them at the second stage because when I saw them they were leaving an apple tree. So they were, they had been in a cluster and they were up in the air and then they were gone in minutes. Had I gotten up here 15 minutes earlier, I would have probably seen the ball of bees up there and I would have been able to try and shake them out. Um, but I just missed them. I missed the swarm. We lost a swarm. I don't know who it is though. My guess is it was either the Russians, Frankie, or the back left hive. So this is the back left hive. I haven't been in here in a while, and I think there's a chance it might have been this one. I haven't, because I hadn't looked in probably a month or so. They were pretty slow to build up this year, and I gave them an extra super just for space in case some brood did hatch out, but I have not looked in this hive in a while. So let's check out back left and see what's going on in here. Yeah, they're drawing comb. They're, looks like they're prepping to store nectar up here. Yeah, that is heavy. Nice. Oh yeah, that is a full, full super. Ah, super quiet. Oh, we got a queen cell right here. This may have been our swarm. Look at that, first frame I picked all day. We may have our culprit right here. Another swarm cell. Yep, a couple more, a couple more queen cells down there, not capped yet. All right, so this is this is it. This is probably our swarm. Maybe uh, I get another split out of this. Maybe I get another resource hive out of this. Take a couple frames of these bees and put them in a resource hive. So who stayed behind? Lots of drones and nurse bees, brood and resources and queen cells. So yesterday I took one of my Adrian resource hives and I made them into a full-size hive which left an empty half of a resource hive so I'm gonna take this frame of bees and put it into that resource hive over there and uh, hopefully they stick around and this queen can can hatch out there's a really nice queen cell on this right there and there's a lot of uh, honey in here so I'm gonna put this right into the resource hive This here is a frame of brood. This has a queen cell on it. I might leave this one behind. This has a queen cell on it, so I might leave this behind. This has a lot of bees on it and a lot of brood. So hopefully this brood will hatch out. I'm gonna put this right in there too. I need one more frame of bees in there. Okay, there's a lot of drones on this frame, but I'll bring them over. All right, putting back in some empty frames. Even though this hive swarmed today, the population is still really, really good in here. Just t I took three frames out of here with at least two queen cells and put them over in the resource hive. So I'm leaving them with three empty frames and three or four queen cells here. Okay, I don't wanna mess with this hive again for a few weeks. All right, we found our swarm and it was back left. We made a new resource hive out of the swarm cells and this hive is fine. They have enough resources in there. They got a full super, they've got tons of brood. 
and they've got like three or four really good queen cells. So Sive is off and running. So in here we've got the two, two frames with queen cells, resources, lots of bees, and an empty frame. And they're in the nuke that I took. I took the bees out of here and made this yesterday. So now this resource hive has two, two, uh, two families in it. So I'm actually closing this up so they can't get out. So the top is closed, the entrance is closed, and I'm putting some grass in the upper entrance so they will eventually be able to get out, but you know, maybe for part of the day, they won't try and get out of here, but eventually they'll make their way out of here. They gotta get through the grass. Little time release. And then when they do get out, they'll orient to this location. They're in the shade here, so they're, they're protected. So the cool thing about these resource hives is even when there's nothing in here, the inner cover's on there and the inner cover's on here, it still adds up to you know the same height, so I can just put the lid right on here. So back to a dual colony. All right, let's give Frankie a look. I haven't been in here in a while either. I put a super on them about a week ago because I didn't know how big they were getting and I didn't have time to look, so I just added a super for space. And they're up there, just like uh, back left was, checking it out. These colonies are finding nectar. I mean, it, it was really empty here the whole month of June. And then July hit, it started raining, and all the milkweed just opened up and they quickly filled this up. It doesn't seem too packed up here. I mean, population-wise, but there's a lot of nectar. That's probably uh, two-thirds full. Swarm season came late this year. Swarm season's usually about a month ago, but everything was a month late, so I thought we just went past it, but I think it just got pushed forward. It's all honey on one side, and all bee bread and pollen over here. Looks nice. There was a year in there where this was the drama hive, the Franken nuke. There's like five different hives in this hive. Eggs and brood and shaken bees and frames and they finally like found their legs and calmed down and got organized. But that summer was just total mess. This is all bee bread. Holy cow, another frame of bee bread. And a swarm cup. Bee bread and a swarm cup. Anything in there? Totally empty. It's all dry in there. More bee bread. And drones. This hive is packed with resources. Okay, there is a queen. But I also see what looks like a queen cell. That looks like an emerged queen cell, like maybe there was a little swarm or something. But there's a queen right there, you see her? I wonder if that is our Frankie. Didn't mark the other Frankie, so I don't know. She looks little, and she's on the frame with the emerged cell. So I have a feeling this hive may have swarmed or superseded. She's surrounded by attendants though. She seems like she's mated. I don't know. She's little. She's a, just a little queen. Unless that's Frankie and they have her on a diet because they're getting ready to swarm. That could be Frankie. Yep. There's a frame with no eggs. Okay, I wonder if I wonder if there was a swarm here. There is a queen. There's also swarm cells. So if I knock off the swarm cells and assume that that's uh, an emerged queen, then if, it's, if I was wrong and she swarms, they have no eggs in here to make a new queen. If I just take her out of there and put her in a new box, there's a chance she's a virgin and she still has to go out and mate and she's oriented to this box, so she'll come back to this box. And if I just leave them and they have not swarmed yet, then they're gonna swarm and that queen's gone. And so we either do a split and risk the split failing. So if I just leave them as is, uh, they're either gonna swarm or they've already swarmed. And this would have been solved if I had marked Frankie. 
although that could be Frankie in there and it just she's just on a diet and she hasn't been laying because I actually noticed there's like there's no brood in here there's no there's no larva or eggs I think this hive swarmed already and I think that's an emerged cell and I think that queen hatched out and I think she is a virgin and she just hasn't started laying yet so I'm going to leave them as is that is my my gut feeling is they just need to get packed back up and left alone and she will start laying in here the signs are not pointing toward um, them about to leave there's not enough bees in here for them them to leave but she's right there that that queen is right there and she she looks good she just doesn't look mated yet that is definitely a queen cell that that emerged that's not a partially made one that's that's a one that just came out I think I missed a swarm here so if I'm right here and the queen has just come out of a queen cell this hive has previously swarmed and I missed it and I'm gonna just do nothing and let it play out then everything will be fine because she'll just eventually mate come back and start laying if I'm wrong about that and I did something to fix it I could mess things up and make everything worse but if I'm wrong and do nothing and just let it play out then everything will also work out so the best thing to do when you're not sure what to do is do nothing so I'm gonna do nothing if I come back in here in a week and there's eggs in here fresh eggs I'll know I was right I left them alone they had swarmed there's a new queen I can mark her and we're, we're off and running all right so what did we learn today we learned that I uh, lost a swarm and it was most likely the back left hive because that hive had seven or so queen cells most of them were capped and, and growing and the population was down so I split that hive I took about two or three of the queen cells and put them into the resource hive that I made yesterday or that I emptied yesterday and made a new box and they are closed up so I have to remember to go up in a couple days and open them up but they can get out of the the grass the upper entrance is, is plugged with grass so they can get out of there eventually so I put them back together so they're gonna make a new colony so now the back left hive Adrian we have so many hives that are not queen right um the back left hive is not queen right they're making a queen the Adrian monster hive is making a queen the one of the resource hives is making a queen three of the front resource hives I think are making queens Una is making a queen and Frankie has what I think is a new queen so I think she I think that hive swarmed I have a good feeling or they superseded her one or the other there's a new queen in there and there's a there's a emerged queen cell so I think that's a new queen and I think she's gonna go mate and come back and start laying hopefully in about a week or so so in about a week we're gonna have a lot of answers I thought yesterday when I was in those resource hives that we just were queenless on all those little hives but I went in I did the bee math I added all I added everything up and figured out that this is the week they'd be mating so all those hives kind of were made at the same time and none of them have mated Queens yet and I didn't even see Queens at all virgins or anything so this is the week when they're mate they're mating so I think I just missed them or they were out of mating flights or, or whatever the case I'm gonna give them another week before I go and buy some Queens if I need to but I'm giving everybody another week and I'm gonna see what happens and let stuff play out and if things uh, are not queen right in a week I'll know that a lot of my walkaway splits failed this year which could have been because of all the rain we got in early July right when they were all emerging we got five days of rain so that could have messed them up that could have pushed everything back so that's where we are and yeah if uh, if I find that everyone's queen queenless um, in a week I'm gonna go buy some Queens some variety of new Queens I'll go to my my buddy one one town over and and I know he's got carniolans he's got VSH Queens he might have a couple buckfast Queens over there um, so yeah we'll we'll get some interesting new Queens if we need to in about a week so that's the story thanks for watching